headed through Basking Ridge. I had the idea yesterday while I was editing some video that I need to be a little bit, I need to have shorter videos and more focused rather than just driving around and rambling. However, this is kind of a target of opportunity. I'm driving up 287, no one wants to see anything on here, so I figured, what the heck? I'll do a dash cam drive through of Basking Ridge. Because several years ago when I was doing dash cams in the past, I had sent, I had reached out to you know you're from Basking Ridge if. And I said, hey, I'm not from Basking Ridge, I live in Harding but I do dash cams in the area. So they accepted my request to join the group despite not being from Basking Ridge. And so this is me, like five years later, fulfilling my end of the bargain. I could make a left, I could make a left, but I think take a little bit more of a scenic route, a little bit more of a scenic route, even though it might take me longer to get home, and even though it'll make my video longer, which will make it more challenging to upload. Basking Ridge. I like Basking Ridge. I like it. I like it. Good to go. So, uh, I don't know if anything will happen with it. And I don't know enough of the details. But, really quick lowdown that has nothing to do with Basking Ridge. But, I'm from, I'm from Madison and I currently live in Harding. Since somewhere in the 1970s, Harding High School kids go to, have gone to Madison High. In the past, I think there might have been something different. There, there, there was a different arrangement. They used to go to Morristown, but I think there were times where they even went to Burner or Tabasco Ridge. I'm not sure. However, since the 70s, it's pretty much been understood that Harding kids go to Madison and there's been no pushback. It's been a great relationship. But recently, to include the upcoming Board of Education vote in Harding, there are people pushing the idea that we shouldn't be just so... Uh, exclusively Madison, not exclusively Madison, but why should we just beta complete, we're going to Madison. They seem to think that there are other options, but it's my understanding that it has to stay within your county, and Harding is in Morris County, so the only real options are, because if you ask people in town, they'd be like, well, I wouldn't mind leaving Madison. Could we go to Basking Ridge? And that would be a great opportunity and a great option, but you can't do it because you have to keep it in county. So the only options available to people from Harding are Mendham, Morristown, Madison, or Chatham. So if we're currently at Madison, that only gives you leaves us the option of Mendham, uh, Morristown, or Chatham. So anyway, I don't think any, I don't think it's going to change because I think there are too many people from Harding that have gone through the Madison school system and, and I think they prefer it. But what do I know? I don't talk to people about it. So anyway, I gotta slow down. What's the speed limit? 40, I'm going 40, I'm all right. Felt like I was going fast. Basking Ridge. Like I said, it's a nice town. I like it a basking ridge. It's so good at town.
this the Oasis Shopping Center. You call it the Lions Mall. I call it the Oasis Shopping Center. It's this little shopping center. I wouldn't say out in the middle of nowhere, but it's kind of crossroads between Warren and Wachung, that area. Well, you know what I'm talking about. You know where you live. But it's kind of an intersection of a lot of different areas. Maybe I should change the name to the to the Vegas Mall, the Vegas Shopping Center. I don't know how well it does though, kind of like the Country Mile lawn uh, or downtown New Vernon. People are just driving through, so it feels like in that mall, and I could be totally wrong, but it feels like it's got some turnover. Just a, just a hunch. Just a hunch. felt to me it's always had like this old west feel to me it's a really short stretch the stores are kind of compact side by side I almost wish that there was like a saloon with swinging doors that's it I had lottery tickets in my pocket if I win I'm opening a saloon Basking Ridge. Basking Ridge Saloon. I'm going to refer to the customers as partner. Had it, partner! Maybe a colonial, definitely a colonial feel. Holy cow, there's no one out at the Blue Cafe. If you call my wife, see if she wants to do a, a flash breakfast. See, see what I mean? Like colonial, old town feel right here. Flag's at half mast. Sure why? No idea. I don't know. Could be a lot of things. I don't want to talk about depressing things. I'm a happy person. So I don't know if I'm gonna to have to chop this video. <clears throat> I don't know if this is a the mid part of a video or the chopped portion of a video, but I'm going to be taking this, be taking it right up here by the Basky Ridge Country Club, the Barracuda. And I don't know if I can run this whole thing through or I'm going to have to pick up for the 
recording portion of the video. I'm trying to chop my videos up a little bit. You know, with TikTok and everything. Nobody wants to watch 20, 30 minute videos. Lucky, you're lucky if you can get 10 minutes out of them. So this could be the conclusion of the coming conclusion of the Basking Ridge portion of the video. Where do I conclude the Basking Ridge portion of the video? Where is Where does Basking Ridge end and Harding begin? I make this trip a lot because my family, family and I are Basking Ridge Barracuda, part of the swim team, man. The Barracudas, baby. So where does Basking Ridge end? 26 Tavern. Um, so where does Basking Ridge end and Harding begin? That is the question. I think we're still in BR. Telephone poles say BR because you can't, yeah. Um, because you can't tell based on the mailing addresses because this section of Harding is has a uh, Basking Ridge mailing address. Let's see. Let's see what, if the telephone. All right. Township of Harding. There's the sign. There you go. Bam! I'm assuming the sign's at the, at the right place. So that I figured, I mean, I pretty much knew that. You cross the bridge, you're into Harding, but you never know. You never know. It's not always the natural boundaries that separate things. Sometimes they're gerrymandered. Not all boundaries are, are, are natural. Sometimes they're gerrymandered. Ah, uh, Harding in the fall. Great swamp. I should come back here tomorrow morning. This is a great turn right here. It's a great turn for um, sunrises. I'm going to make that turn and I'm going to have my brother dub over the top of it his song. Sunrise, oh, go away. I can see too much. tough section of, of, there's this tough section of Lee's Hill because, you know, you're going down, so it feels like you're coasting, but you're picking up speed as you go. Sometimes you got to slow your rolls and be like, hey, take it easy. Enjoy the view. It's nice out here. It's nice.
tree. What a pretty tree. Pretty, beautiful tree. I don't know of any other I should. I should. I've been in town long enough, but I should know something like that. Please correct me in the comments. A dummy. It's the tree. Knucklehead. It's not me that's riding too close. We've created a caravan behind me. We are going 20 miles an hour under the speed limit. But, you know, you can't fault people for safety, especially when you're carrying gear and equipment. You know, contents shift during movement. I was probably driving the whole length of the Police Hill Road looking at addresses, which is why he was driving so slow. Oh, well, we had 100? We had 98? Wait, hold on. The numbers changed. Wait, why'd the numbers change? So many campaign signs. I always thought it would be funny because you're not allowed to put lawn signs in, in intersections for your business. I always thought it would be funny to, to um, make a campaign theme, camp, campaign themed business sign like elect Westhead for sports painter. Have them put up all over the place. I don't know. I thought it would be funny. I haven't done it, so I don't think it's that. I don't think it's funny enough. I haven't done it. Black Westhead for sports murals. That's it. That's it. I'm running. I'm running. 2024 for sports equipment president. President of the United States of Sports Equipment. That's it. I work on my campaign, West Head for President. What? Well, I'm not through traffic. That's right, they're paving Sandspring Road. Holy Toledo. section? I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to do a before and after paving dash cam. Here is the before paving. I'm 
smelling what you're cooking. I'm smelling what you're cooking. Hello, gentle men. See you next time.